Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 96 of our annual Get Your Goals annual challenge. This year we're focusing on all different things, goals and objectives, getting what we want out of life and doing one thing every day to help us do that. Not a, necessarily a great big thing, some days bigger than others, but something that moves us toward what we want every single day. So this month, <clears throat> the month of April, I think just like last year, we focused on spirituality as well because Easter's in April usually. And so it's a great month to think about our, our thoughts and beliefs around the area of spirituality. And I personally define spirituality as my connection to something bigger than myself. And you get to define it. We did that early on this month in a way that's right for you and feels right for you. So right now we are going through the SOAP framework, S-O-A-P, and applying it to a spiritual goal that we want. We selected a spiritual goal a couple of days ago. Yesterday, we told ourselves a story using the journalistic framework, who, what, where, when, why, and how of our current story and our desired story to come up with a gap because there's usually, and I would think always, a, a gap between where we are right now and where we want to be, especially if we're setting a goal in that area. So my goal is to heal from brokenness, and I have to had to first define what does that mean to me and then I did who what where when why and how and then for my current story and my who what where when why and how for my desired story and the next step in the process the O in the SOAP framework stands for options and that's where we begin answering the how question for me for the how do I get from my current to my desired as well as how do I achieve this goal and what are the possible steps I can take and, and options I have in front of me or yeah, options is, is a great word. What could I possibly do to start moving me from where I, I am to where I want to go? And then over the rest of the process, we'll figure out how those things work, how we measure them, and how we can make them automatic for us going forward so that I don't have to constantly think about how am I going to continue to move toward the achievement of that goal on a conscious level. I can, I can move it into my subconscious and let that work for me. So how do we come up with these options? And if you been around me at all, you know I'm a huge fan of brainstorming. I think it's one of the best ways to come up with possibilities. We just let our mind run wild and come up with anything that we could possibly do to solve a problem or to fill a solution, to take action soon, right? The faster we act on a decision, the faster we are at making sure that that's going to happen in our life. So I looked up some things about brainstorming. You know, there's verbal brainstorming. There's when you have a group of people together and they all throw out their ideas and somebody captures them on paper or post-it notes or a whiteboard. There's nominal group technique, which I was going to talk about as our way of analyzing alternatives tomorrow, but I think I might save that for another month because we did it in April last year and I like to mix it up. Uh, and then there's like electronic and computer assisted and all kinds of super complicated models we can use in order to to brainstorm. But there's also like 10 different types of brainstorming. I'm just going to mention those today. And if you want to pick one and learn a little bit more about it and do it, maybe I'll put it in the write-up, a little description of each of these different types of brainstorming uh, in guide 17 of the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group. If you haven't joined that yet, I invite you to join it. All you do is answer the three security questions. So we don't want anybody going in there and, and uh, spamming us with with stuff. I get that every day on every one of my profiles and everywhere I am online. And I just ignore it, but it gets really distracting when it shows up in private groups. People hit me up for things all the time or direct messaging you. So it's basically, you just say, yes, I'm not going to, or no, I'm not going to spam. All right. So what are 10 different types of brainstorming? And let's cover our action item first today. Of course, our action item, again, if you followed me for any amount of time, is we always come up with at least 10 possible ways to start filling that gap. Now, we're not jumping to the, this one thing is gonna fill the gap altogether. We're looking for all the different possible ways we can start moving toward filling that gap. I know th this one speaks to me because there are issues and things from my past that I have coated over and stuffed down and buried away and never dealt with. And those would be considered brokenness by most people. So I'm getting the opportunity to address, and I'm just gonna start with one Thing, right and I think if I if I solve that one thing it'll be like dominoes and all a whole bunch of other things that have been linked up to and associated with that will fall away and and exit my life which I think will give me more peace of mind more freedom more opportunity to be myself which is what one of my goals for spirituality is 
So, what are some of these types of brainstorming? So, all we're going to do is brainstorm 10. 10 things. Your action time today is to make a list of 10 things, either in your, like I have my, my book for this year's challenge, or, now this is last year's challenge book, right? Got a little big. Uh, <clears throat> and this one probably will too. I might have to have two books this year because this one I'm using is a lot smaller. <coughs> All right. So what are some of these brainstorming techniques? So you're going to just write down 10 and then just share one. Share one in the comments below. Or if you want, you can share three because we're going to circle three today that are the ones we want to analyze and look at tomorrow to really decide how are we going to move forward on on which one are we going to move forward on, I guess. So today, what are some 10 types of different brainstorming? And we have, I've talked about all these before, but again, um, you can decide if you want to use an alternate one or just sit down with a piece of paper and write out 10 things that might help you move from, a, from C to D. I call it C to D now instead of A to B because we're moving from our current state to our desired state, our current situation with the respect to this goal, and then what our life will be like, our desired state, after we have achieved this goal. So, brain writing, I've actually tried, I've tried all of these because I've covered them in the past during different challenges in uh, 2020 with the pandemic. And I said, okay, what are we going to do about this? Let's look at different ways of brainstorming possibilities of our life during this crazy time. Uh, so, brain writing is when you just grab a piece of paper or a notebook and you just start writing. And, and, you know, you're thinking about the topic that you're working on or not because you never know what's going to come up and you just start writing, writing possibilities. And then you can go back through that and you can pick out the things that are your 10 things. Uh, rapid ideation, that's when everybody just throws out ideas or if you're just brainstorming by yourself, you just throw out ideas. You set a t you can set a timer. You don't have to. I'm not a big timer setter, but you can set a timer for, say, five minutes or 10 minutes and you... You write out, or maybe even three minutes, as many ideas as you can possibly come up with. And usually you can get to about five, and then it starts to get a little more challenging and harder to come up with, with brainstormed options. Uh, figure storming, that's uh, when we use pictures to help us brainstorm. Electronic image method. Oh, no, that's not electronic. It's eidetic image method. I don't remember that one. Online brainstorming means in brain netting when you go online and you do brainstorming and, and look for uh, ideas from other people. I think that's always a good thing to do. Round robin when everybody, if you're doing it with a group, takes a turn and says, now there's nothing. And I never would say, don't ask other people for ideas. If you're having conversations with people that you trust and love and care about or, or value their opinion, hey, I, I set this goal for myself. And I'm looking for action items or things that I can do to move me toward that. You know, maybe somebody has uh, worked with a coach or a consultant or taken a course that they got a lot of value out of. And maybe that's just another piece of information for your, your 10 ideas. Uh, round robin. Oh, I just said round robin. The step ladder technique, mind mapping, starbursting, and then change of scenery. I find it helps me a lot when I'm brainstorming to do like a change of venue, meaning I'm changing where I'm doing my work or where I'm thinking. I like to go to the park. I like to go sit down by the riverfront or the lakefront or walk out to something called a dike here. It's a, a old bridge that used to go across the St. Croix River and halfway there. I like to go out there and sit on one of the benches or just not right now because it snowed again last night but normally in the summertime well spring summer and fall i love to go out there and walk and just sit and think and brainstorm and plan how i want things to be or just visualize or meditate all those things i like to do out there uh, so find a place a change of venue somewhere different they don't call it change but change of scenery somewhere else that you can do it maybe just open a window and sit by a window with the sun shining on your face to brainstorm your list so what are we doing today 10 things 10 things to get us from our current situation to our desired situation with respect to this spiritual goal. Any questions? Hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have a great day. Have fun with this. This is a fun activity because you're not committing to anything. You're just coming up with ideas of how you could start to fill that gap. And I guarantee something will, will click and you'll be like, yes, I could do that. All right. See you tomorrow.